have some really amazing strawberries that I got locally. Absolute best popsicles because the oat milk is nice and creamy. Whiz it up. Popsicles bring back so many nostalgic childhood memories. I don't even know where to begin. There's so many stories. My mom used to buy a popsicle mold for us, bring us to the grocery store, and tell us we could pick any juice in the juice aisle. And it was the most fun thing, pouring the juice into the molds, sticking the sticks in, and then waiting for them to freeze, and then pulling them out of the little mold, and just like having a field day outside, getting that sugar high. Such a great memory. Today, I'm getting a little nostalgic because I'm thinking about my childhood, but I'm going to be making the best popsicles ever strawberry lemonade popsicles. And these popsicles are way better than the ones that I made when I was a little kid. They're adult approved, kid approved. They're just fantastic and they take like eh, 10 minutes to make. It's just three ingredients. You need a popsicle mold. You can get it really anywhere, especially during the summer. I have some really amazing strawberries that I got locally. They're absolutely fantastic and juicy and ripe. I have some lemon juice and I have some oat milk. I'll explain all the ingredients in a second, but we're gonna start with our strawberries. So I just sliced them up, I took the tops off, you wanna make sure to do that. And I'm just going to pop these all in a blender. You can also use a food processor, whatever you have on hand. I have some lemon juice because we're doing strawberry lemonade popsicles. So I have the juice of about a lemon or a lemon and a half, depending on how juicy they are. And now you're probably thinking like, where's the sugar, right? Well, the strawberries are sweet. The lemon is very, very tart. So you do need something sweet. You can either use like a sweetened almond milk. You can add sugar right in here, but instead of doing all that, use oat milk. I'm telling you, they make the absolute best popsicles because the oat milk is nice and creamy. So it's actually going to make a bit of a creamy popsicle, not super, super creamy, but kind of cut the iciness. And oat milk is naturally sweet. There's no sugar added, but it's sweet. So it works so perfectly with these, your mind is gonna be blown. So I'm gonna pop my top right on here and I'm going to whiz it up. Okay, so tip, you can leave it just a little bit chunky if you prefer to have like kind of that slight, like almost whole berry taste or feel in your mouth, or you can just puree it till it's smooth, which is how I like it. So I'm gonna keep going. We have an amazing almost smoothie. And why I say this, oh, I was trying to twist it. It's not a twist. Why I'm saying this is because I've actually used this as just like a drink. It's delicious. It's almost like a smoothie juice if you just drink it. So you gotta give it a little taste just to taste test it, make sure it's the sweetness that you like. Mm. I like it with a little tartness, but it's still sweet enough to have the kids like it and you like it. You can always add a little bit more oat milk or a touch of sugar if you prefer. So all you need to do is you're just going to pour the mixture right into your popsicle mold. You wanna do it at least three quarters of the way up or completely all the way up. I would start with three quarters and see how much you have left over. Isn't that the most beautiful color you've ever seen? There's a little bit left over and you know what I'm gonna be doing with that will be is freeze. So all you need to do is place your little popsicle sticks right in your molds and you're gonna let this freeze for at least two hours. You can do it overnight, you can do it for days. They keep really well in the freezer. I actually like them though after two hours because they're a little bit soft and that's the best part. I'll see you then. There's nothing better than a slightly melty strawberry lemonade popsicle. It 
It actually tastes like the strawberries that you just picked from the field. Slightly tart from the lemon and the oat milk. Just adds like a little bit of creaminess. Wow. Check this out on tastefullygrace.com. You won't regret it. I always have trouble doing it. And I'm going to whiz it up.